Hi, James Flan. It's James, the wine guy, here to share and celebrate this wine with you today. This is Brandenburg's Umqua Valley Gewürztraminer 2011 Vintage from Oregon. Now, this wine is, um, you know, a beautiful expression of what can happen for Gewürztraminer. I think you're tasting some really well-crafted Gewürztraminer throughout the planet. So I think there's a, an image of a hyperly sweet varietal that is um, really given that uh, distinction in terms of, I think it's really in a collective mindset. That is... A lot of people, I think, give it. I mean, it's superbly sweet, as opposed to a wine that it really can go in many directions. Yes, it can go off dry, it can go sweet, it can go dry, and I think the dryness is really a great opportunity to pair with so many different food styles and to pair alone. Now, um, I think, as, as I continually say, that white wine is to be enjoyed year-round. In fact, it's it's part of a meal a really well-defined um, meal trajectory. So from the beginning course, a white wine, maybe a rosé, uh, going on and finishing off the red wine, finishing off with a dessert wine. I think that's a really elegant way of tasting so many different uh, styles of wine and to enhance what you're tasting. So um, really beautiful producer. I've tasted their white Pinot Noir, their red Pinot Noir, and uh, enjoying this wine here, their Gewitz that I mean, I think it's absolutely craftedly, um, you know, something remarkable and handsome. And I think that you're going to find many more Gewitz that I mean, there is obviously from California, you're finding Gewitz that I mean, you're finding uh, while Pinot Gris is one of these wine varietals from Oregon, that gets a lot of attention and it should. It's a beautiful uh, expression. Now, you're going to find other varietals coming from this area as well, the Riesling and the Gewitz that I mean, I've tasted so many Gewitz that I mean is from this region. And uh, really, I think you're going to see many more because they're extremely well-crafted, wonderful quality that we're getting today. And uh, you're going to get uh, additional Gewitz that I mean from around the world as well. So from Italy and France and Alsace and Germany, of course. So here we go. I'll take a taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. Here we go. Mmm. Beautiful wine here. Now this is 1.8% residual sugar. So in that characteristic style, it is a dry Gewitz that I mean. Now it has some really lively qualities to this wine, lively acid structure, minerality. Now there's a focus on Spitzenberg apple here, yellow citrus peel and zest, almond, white tea, and gardenia. So it gives wine a 9.0 out of my 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.